Won't you give yourself to me? Give it all. I just wanna see. I just wanna see how beautiful you are. You know that I see it. I know you're a star. Where you go, I follow. No matter how far. If I had to move it, the best part.
this style. You just saw the lookbook and now in this part of the video I'm gonna go through the outfits and explain how I styled them. To make this video a bit more informative I'm also gonna give you some of my tips for secondhand shopping. For my first outfit I started it with this long blue kimono and it has these beige cream colored flowers on it and it has a tie. It is actually a pretty large size but you can either like tie it from the back or like tie it on the front and make a dress out of it and that is what I did. So I bought this second hand and my first tip for second hand shopping is to have a list of the things you're looking for, like maybe have a few specific things so then when you go to the second hand shop it is a lot easier to find something when you have something in mind you're looking for because otherwise there's just going to be so many clothes and so much stuff that you're never going to find the things you're looking for like if you don't know what you're looking for so for me I was looking for a kimono and then I found this one I've been really loving midi-length dresses paired with combat boots in the fall and then you can see like bare legs underneath when the dress is flowy. So that is why I paired this dress with these combat boots. The dress is a large size so it has a lot of fabric. I think it was like a bit too much so I just wanted to tone it down with a black leather jacket. I wore my black leather jacket from Pull and Bear with it. It has like golden details and if you've watched any of my videos you've probably seen this one many times. Then to make the dress a bit more autumn appropriate I layered this black sheer top underneath. It is just like a basic black sheer top and it is from Stradivarius. I just wanted to add a beige bag because I thought black just looked too dark and it needed like some brightening up and the dress also has like beige parts in it so that was outfit number one. For my second outfit I started it with these black and white striped straight leg Pants. My second tip for secondhand shopping is to always check the men's section too. I don't know if these are like men's or women's, but you can find like really cool pieces on the men's section too. And these ones I paired them with a white tee. I don't have it here because it is in the wash, but I just thought this really needed some brightening up. I don't know, like a white tee just looks so amazing with a pair of black and white striped pants like this. Then I just put a belt, this black belt, golden details. I was thinking about pairing a red bag with the outfit because I thought it would look really cool and it did. But then I just remembered that I also have a red faux leather jacket. So this jacket looked even cooler with it, but I think any kind of pop of color, either as a jacket or as a bag, would look really nice with this outfit. Then I just wore white sneakers because the t-shirt was white. The jacket was already such a statement piece, so I just wanted to pair a very basic black, this kind of envelope style bag. Just to have a bag, but that it won't stand out too much. My Tip number three for secondhand shopping is to look for pieces that you normally wouldn't invest in. So I wouldn't invest like 50 to 100 euros in a red faux leather jacket because I don't use a red jacket that often. So I think it's great to buy one secondhand. I paid 5 euros for this one and I've been using it every now and then. So. It's like perfect for that kind of occasions. For my third and last outfit, I started it with this blazer. It is a longer model and I just kind of wanted to uh, style this because I find it really hard to wear blazers on an everyday use because my style is maybe a bit more 
on the casual side. So even though I love the look of a blazer on somebody else, I find it very hard to like incorporate them into my style. So I wanted to create an outfit that is a bit more casual with a blazer. My tip number four for secondhand shopping is, okay, so some people don't like secondhand shopping because they feel like the products there smell. So I understand they sometimes do smell. My tip for that one is to just like wash them many times and then maybe like wind wash them outside, leave them outside during the night, especially when it's cold outside. And also just like wear them because in that way I feel like the smell kind of fades away when your own natural smell kind of gets into the piece of clothing. With this blazer I wanted to style something very casual so I, I paired it I paired it with these dark grey jeans that have a rip here on the knee and are just like pretty basic like straight. It's a shame that these are low waist because otherwise I love these jeans but I don't like low waist jeans so that is a shame. But these are also second hand so as the blazer. My tip number five is to keep in mind that you can customize the clothes that you buy secondhand. So when you find something pretty nice and if it's not expensive, like these were three euros. So I bought them like without the rips and then I just like started cutting and I like them a lot better now. So you can kind of like DIY your clothes when you buy them secondhand. I paired this white button up with the jeans. I kind of love the look when you tuck in one half of the front and it gives like a more casual and chill look to a white button up and I love the details of this button up. This is from Zara by the way and then as I tuck it in a bit I wanted to wear a belt with it, so you could just see like a little bit of uh, this belt where the shirt was tucked in. <laughs> then to finish off the outfit with some accessories, I just put a Baker Boy hat because I think it just looked really cool with the outfit. And I paired this striped Zara bag and I think it went really nicely with the floral here, so I just I think it looks really cool when you mix stripes and florals. That was all the outfits and that was all of my five tips for second hand shopping. I really hope you loved the video and especially that you loved the lookbook because it was filmed and edited by a very talented friend of mine. I will put her Instagram account down below. She was like really into filming so that was really cool making the video with her. By the way, I am going for a trip to Kosovo next week, so I will be doing a some kind of travel diaries and film my outfits there. So see you on my next video. Bye!